Hey, what is up, guys? Phoenix here, and welcome back to part four of my Foxy Pixelar tutorial. So, where we left off yesterday, we just added this bit right here to the top left corner of the mouth. So, let's fly over to it and check out what we have. So, what we ended up doing was we have like this four vertical and this three flat line right here. And if this is looking unfamiliar to you, be sure to check out the previous part so you can catch yourself up. Otherwise, you'll be watching this and not knowing what the heck I'm building. But, anyways, what we're going to do is start from right here today. So we're going to go up and to the right from here, two vertical pieces of black wool, one, two. Then we're going to go to the top right there where we just continued, and we're going to go up and to the left, three vertical. Up and to the left, again, six vertical, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get rid of the placement blocks. Then we're going to go up and to the right from that six, four vertical. So get your wool out. One, two, three, four. And we're just shaping out the snout right now because he does look really awkward without his snout. And he still does look very awkward even once we do the snout because he doesn't have his teeth. But we'll get those done. So from here, we're going to go up and to the right. Four singles. So one, two, three, four. Make sure you count them out. Then up and to the right. Two flat. Three flat. And then three flat again. So you can look at the right hand screen to get a good idea what it's supposed to look like. Otherwise, let's keep moving forward. So from there, we're going to go up and to the left again. 11 flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And now it gets a little rigid right here, so we're going to go up and to the right. 1. And we're going to leave this placement block here because all we're going to do is go down into the right one again. So it's like this. You can get rid of the placement block now. Then we're going to go up into the right four, flat. Down into the right one single. So it should look like this now. It looks really weird, but it's okay. And from here, we're going to go up into the right one, down into the right one, and then up into the right one again. So let me just do that real slow for you guys. Up into the right one, leave the placement block there, down into the right one, then up into the right one again. So it looks like this. It goes down, up, down, up after the four flat right there. And I'm actually going to save it for a quick second because I think I edited it a little bit. All right, and we're back. So from the top block right here, we're going to go down to the right, 11 flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I'm going to go back and get rid of this placement block for now. And now we're going to start going down to the right and shaping out the rest of the snout. So we're going to go down into the right, 3 flat. 1, 2, 3. Down to the right, 3 flat again. Down to the right, two flat. And now we're going to start reaching towards re um, hitting that bottom start right there. So we're going to go down to the right, three singles. One, two, three. Then we're going to go down to the right, two verticals twice. One, two. Place and block. One, two. Next, we're going to go down into the right seven vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to go inward. So let's go down into the left three vertical, then down into the left two vertical. So one, two, three, place and block. One, two, and now let's get rid of them. So from the bottom block in that two, we're going to go down into the right four flat. One, two, three, four. And now below that four flat, we're just going to extend it straight down until it touches what we already have. So now half of our snout's complete. And now it's time to do the other half. So to get the other half done, we're going to do a little cheap trick right here on the bottom of this two vertical right here. We're going to go to this one and put two to the left of it. 
and we're just going to work with this final block right here. So from that final block, we're going to up and to the right, two vertical, then up and to the right, four vertical. Actually, get rid of that two vertical. We can leave it for now. We're going to go back down to this final block, so ignore that two vertical I just put. Instead, we're going to go down and to the left, five singles. So after that, you see how this is a single block by itself, but technically it's connected to this. So these are five more after it. This one's not part of the five. So one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you count it carefully. From here, we're going to go down to the left, three flat. One, two, three. Then down to the left, seven flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it should look like this. And here's where it gets weird because this is part of um the place the placeholder for its teeth. So it's gonna be a large gap right here. So we're gonna go down to the left 19 flat. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, nineteen. And you should go back and count that over again, but I'm pretty sure I did it correctly. And if I did it wrong, we'll find out soon. So from here we're going to go up and to the left, 8 flat, up and to the left, 2 flat, 2 times in a row, so 1, 2, placement block, 1, 2. So we can go back and get rid of those now. Now we're going to go up and to the left, 4 singles, 1, 2, 3, 4, up and to the left, 2 vertical, And actually, we can get rid of the top block and that two vertical. So instead of going two vertical, we're just going to go two flat. So it's symmetrical to what we did on the opposite side, where we went from the bottom block of the two vertical and extended it over. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll fly over and check it out right now. So you see how it's shaped like this. The opposite side, we did the exact same thing right here. Let me just go back now and get rid of the placement blocks. Forgot these. These gotta go. So now we have the snout shape. But he does have like a black spot in the middle of his nose. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to the top of his nose right here where we have all these ridges. And the ridge right here is what we want. This first one going down. So below it, we're going to put two placement blocks going straight down, then a black wool. So it looks like this. And we can get rid of the placement blocks now. So from this black wool, what we're going to do is put three to the right of it. And we're going to just use this to shape out the rest of the nose. So first what we're going to do is go down to the right from here, one single block. And go up and to the right, two flat. So we have this, then we're going to go down to the right, four flat, one, two, three, four, down to the right, two flat, and now we're going to go down and like circle around, so we're going to start using verticals for a bit before we hit the outer edge, so we're going to go down to the right, two vertical, down to the right, two vertical again. And I'm going to actually go to the left side now since we did enough of work over here. So on the left side, we're going to go to this block, the first one. And we're going to go down to the left, three flat. Down to the left, three single blocks. So one, three. And let's get rid of the placement blocks because they're in the way. We don't want them ever getting too crowded because then they start interfering with our number counting. So after the three singles, we're going to go down to the left, three flat. I mean three vertical, so one, two, three, make sure it's vertical, even I just said flat by accident. Now from these three vertical, we're going to go down to the left, two vertical, and now we can start bringing it inwards. So we're going to go down to the right, two flat, 
down into the right five flat, two, three, four, five, down into the right seven flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to go up into the right seven flat. So it's just getting this weird circular oval shape going on, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and since his nose is really wide, it's using all these big numbers. As you can see on the right hand camera screen, we're almost meeting up with what we had before. So all we got to do now is go up and to the right one single block, then up and to the right three vertical, one, two, three, and everything meets up. You see here we touch at a diagonal, and that completes the snout nose thing. And now we're going to switch to our dark gray wool and get the, um, the detail done. So for the detail in the nose, what we're going to do is go to up here where we have this four flat, and we're going to go all the way to the left block right here. And we're just going to put one placement block below it, then two pieces of dark gray wool going straight down like this. And from this top one, whoops, this top one right here, we're going to go to the left of it. We're going to put five pieces of gray wool going to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. So if you want to wait for later to fill it in, you can, but otherwise this is going to be completely black right here. We just needed that dark gray shape inside there. So you can fill it in right now and continue the video after. It doesn't really matter. So that completes the snout and nose, and we're exactly at the 12-minute mark right now. Interesting. So what should we do next? It's a perfect time to start some of the teeth. So we'll do just that. So for the teeth, what we're going to do is we're going to get white wool out. So go into your color picker thingy. You get white wool or snow or whatever you want to use. And we're going to drop down to the left side of the snout. And let's find this two flat right here. This is where we're going to start. So on the left block of this two flat right here, not the first one, the second one right here. As you see, there's two different pieces of two flat wool right here. This one is the one we want. So we're going to the left block right here. And we're going to put one white wool below it. And from this white wool, we're going to put two to the left. Then we're going to go all the way to the left of it and put one on top like this. And some of these shapes wouldn't make any sense for now, but you're going to go back and fill it in with black wool to fill in all the gaps. I'm just filling in the teeth right now. So anyways, on the left side right here, we put one on top. And then we're going to go below it put one on bottom. So it looks like this now. Then we're going to go to the middle block right here. And below it, we're going to put five pieces of white wool going straight down. One, two, three, four, five. Going over to this right piece right here, we're going to go down and put eight pieces going straight down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're almost done finishing up this tooth. All we have to do now is go back towards the top. You see how we have this gap right here? We're going to skip this first place. Below it is what we want, so we're going to put a white wool right here. And, we're, and then we're going to put it going down seven white wool below it. So go below it, take out your white wool, and put seven going straight down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you see it lined up perfectly with what we had already. And just to finish this tooth now, we're going to go to the last two blocks on the bottom right here and put one white wool on the right side of each of them. And that is tooth number one. Now, like I do in all my tutorials, we're just going to, every time I complete a tooth, we're just going to surround it in black wool. So just make sure every piece of white wool has a black wool touching it on all sides. So that's tooth number one. Now let's start number two. I mean, number two. I would say number two. <laughs> so we switch back to our white wool now, and we're going to go right next to where we just put the black wool. So you should have this gap right here. This gap, we're going to ignore it. So let's put a placement block in there for now. Then switch back to your white wool. And what we want to do is go below the gap right here and put four pieces of white wool going to the right. One, two, three, four. Going to the right side of the four white wool we just placed, we're going to go below this one and put two going straight down. One, two. Then we're going to go down to the right. Four vertical white wool. 
one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go down to the left from here, two vertical white pieces of wool. And overall, the shape should look like this now. So next, we're going to go to the bottom block and this two white wool we have right here. Put two going to the left. One, two. And now it gets really easy. All we have to do is put one wool going up right here. And this entire closing area right here is going to be all white, so just fill in everything. And you can knock out that placement block now. So now this is tooth number two. So now we're going to take out our black wool and make sure everything on it is surrounded. And when I'm surrounding the wool, you just make sure that you're not, you don't have to cover them at diagonals like that. As you can see, I only make sure there's a black wool covering the bottom, the left side, the top, and the right side of every part of it. But other than that, you don't need diagonal pieces. So now it's time for the next tooth. So let's switch out to our white wool again. And what we're going to do is go up here, where you see this gap leading into the right right here. And we're going to fill it in with four pieces of white wool. We'll make flat to the right. One, two, three, four. And we're going to work with the right side of the four we just placed. So we're going to go down to the right from here. Two flat, like this. Then from that two flat, we're going to go to the right side right here and put four pieces of white wool going below it. One, two, three, four. From there, we're going to go down into the left, three vertical pieces of white wool. One, two, three. So it should look like this right now. And we're going to actually just try and loop it back around and do the same thing we did with that tooth where we just closed it in and then filled it in. So we're going to go to the bottom block right here and put two flat pieces of wool going to the left. One, two. Then we're going to go up into the left, one single white wool like that. And as you can see, Everything is filled in right here. I mean, everything's closed in, so just fill it in all with white. Every part that's closed in. And now we can actually just surround it with black wool again. So let's go and do that. Perfect. So we have three teeth down, and now it's time for tooth number four. So going to the right of the third tooth, what we're going to do is from this top block right here, we're going to go to the right of it and put five pieces of white wool going to the right. One, two, three, four, five. So on the right side of the five flat we just placed, I'm going to go below it and put one. Then we're going to go to this bottom piece we just placed. Whoops, put that back. And I'm going to go down into the left, five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. So now it should look like this. Then we're going to go down to the left, two flat pieces of white wool. And we're just going to try and close it in like we usually do with the other teeth we did. So we're going to go to the left block and the two flat we just placed. We're going to put two on top of it. One, two. Then we're going to go up into the left one. And everything herein can be filled in. So let's just do that. And let's just surround all that pieces of that tooth with the black wool, like so. So I thought I only had two more parts left in the series and then I would have been done, but I kind of enjoy doing only like 20 minute parts. It, it relieves some of the stress on me at the moment because I'm really stressed out and I frankly didn't even feel like making a pixel art. So let's do one more tooth before I wrap this up. We're at the 20 minute mark. And Next part we should finish up the mouth and then the final part will just be the ears and it will be done. So that shouldn't be too bad. 
So for the last tooth, we're going to go, I mean for the next tooth, we're going to go to the right of what we have right here. So you see we have these two vertical black wool right here. We're going to do this again. So go to the right of it and just put two vertical black wool like that. And the next tooth is an exact opposite of this one. So we're just going to mirror this one over here. So, But I'm going to walk you through it. So first we're going to go next to these two black wool and put a white wool next to each of them like that. Then we're going to go down into the right from it. Five pieces of black wool, I mean white wool. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go down into the right. Two flat pieces of white wool. Then on the white wool, we're going to go to the right one right here of the two we just placed. And we're going to put two on top of that. One, two. Then we're going to go up and to the right. Five vertical, and it should touch the ceiling. So one, two, three, four, five. And it did. So that's perfect. So now all we got to do is fill in this tooth. And usually I would use a potion for filling in, but this is really tiny, so it's okay. And I'll surround everything with black wool here. Perfect. So I'm going to try and do these uploads in advance, so I might even film the next part right now. But I need to have stuff filmed in advance since I'm starting finals, and I know I won't be able to produce as many videos for you guys during the next week. But after that, I'm done with school, and I should be back on the pixel art grind doing uh, survival series and just sub games and stuff like that. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to leave a like on the video to help the channel grow, and subscribe if you're new. This is Phoenix Death One, and as always, I'll see you guys later.